Hey guys, what's up? It's Icy here, and um, so Watch Dogs just came out, and a lot of PC users are having issues with like stuttering and jumping in the graphics. So, as you can see, here's my system specs I have an Intel Core i7 4820K, 3.7 gigahertz, and I have a GTX 780 by NVIDIA, 3 gigs of video memory, and then my hard drives. I mean, my systems run off an SSD, and then I have watchdogs on a dedicated hard drive right here that's where i put all my games and nothing else runs off of that besides my games so it's a raid configuration so it's pretty fast and then also in case you're wondering i record to a separate hard drive right here so it's not my hard drive seeds or anything like that i have plenty of ram as well 16 gigs and as you can see i have barely any util uh, utilization of my cpu so I was having a lot of issues and I was reading all the fixes and none of them were working for me. But finally I came to a way to fix it and I'm going to share that with you guys now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to wherever you have your game installed. For me it's on this hard drive under Ubisoft Game Launcher. Then you go to Games, Watch Dogs, Bin. You're going to right click here, go ahead and hit Create Shortcut. And then after that, you're going to drag the shortcut to your desktop, the one that says shortcut, like that. I don't need to do that because I already have the shortcut on my desktop. Then once it's on your desktop, you can rename it if you want. But what you're going to do is right-click it, hit Properties. Then it's going to say Target right here. If you guys can see that, it says Target. It has the location where you're going to be launching the game from. Then you're going to be adding this right here. It's going to be Dash Disable Page File Check just uh, put a space after the end of the parenthesis or quotation mark I mean and then you're gonna put that there no space or anything you're gonna click apply hit OK now at first that wasn't working for me and I honestly don't know why but then I figured out why it wasn't working so that's the first step you're gonna make that shortcut okay then you're gonna go into your computer uh, let me just minimize all this oh actually I need that expanded I lied and then you're going to go to your documents, okay? Then from documents, you're going to click my games, watchdogs, go into this weirdly named folder. Then you're going to see a file that says gamer profile. You aren't going to have the second one here. You're going to right click it. And then you're going to hit copy. Then you're going to right click again, hit paste. Then you're going to get a second one here and it's going to say dash copy like that. I don't need that there because I already have my backup. This is just to make a backup. Then you're going to put dot back b a k at the end that's just going to make sure you have a backup then what you're going to do from gamer profiles right click it hit open with and pick whatever your preferred text editor is i just use notepad then here you're going to be looking for something that says deferred fx quality equals and then it's going to say console here now you're going to change that to instead of saying console in the quotation marks you're going to make it say pc and then after you put that change in, you're going to hit file and then save. And then that's going to save it. And then you can close out this and you don't need to be in this directory anymore. So you could just go back to whatever you, or you can even close it. You don't need that up. Then you're going to go into Uplay right now. Uplay is offline because I guess their servers are overloaded. But you aren't going to launch the game from Uplay. Remember that shortcut we created? You're going to go ahead and right click that shortcut and this is the important step right here. Make sure you run it as an administrator. Okay? Cuz that's going to make sure it gets launched with that target command that we put in. Cuz if you just try launching the shortcut regularly, it doesn't work. That's what I've noticed and you won't notice any change in the frames. So then Watchdogs is going to load up and there's one last step you have to do once you get Watchdogs up. So just waiting for it to load up here. Uh, I don't know if my uh, frame rate's gonna show up for you guys. It might. I don't know if that meter shows during the recording. But here's what you're gonna do now. You're gonna go into options, display, set your display to borderless. It's still gonna fill up your full screen. Don't worry. And then what I do, if you have a good enough card to run it, you can set it to ultra. I like putting it at high because it just gives me even higher frame rate than I had before. But you can set it to ultra with this. This is what I use with a GTX 780. I set it to high because there's not really that much of a difference between ultra and high. I use temporal SMAA. 
that's what i use for that now whatever settings you change here you can match yours up to mine but after you do this and you put this to high and you hit apply and you also fix your graphics quality i just set mine to custom and put everything to max because i can run that with this you're going to want to restart watchdogs completely okay and then once you restart watchdogs completely then you're going to relaunch it running the shortcut as administrator then you can go back into your game it's going to load up and you're still going to get some frame dips every now and then because i guess it's still optimization that needs that's going to be needed but they're not as drastic and there's no stuttering from what i've noticed after doing this so then you can go outside i'm still at the very beginning of the game because i haven't played that much and then uh, it's going to go through i'll show you guys that once you get in a car it works perfectly fine and there's barely any stuttering or anything and actually i think i'm frame rate capped at 60 frames right here because of my recording so it might be a little lower that's what that's why i record at 60 frames so normally when i'm not recording though i get a bit higher so we'll go ahead and get in a car here i think that this one's one of the faster cars so go ahead and back up oh almost killed somebody there so normally when you're driving around here you would see a bunch of stuttering random lag spikes i can drive perfectly fine now my frames are around 40 when i'm driving they're a little bit lower but you don't get these random stutters and drops see all this stuff going around on around me i can do these drifts drive around perfectly fine i can smash into stuff no issue it, it looks perfectly smooth there's none of those random lag spikes so that's what i did to fix it um it's going to be unique case by case for all you guys. I can't say that this is going to work, but I was having the same issue. I was trying everybody's fixes and they weren't working. And I did a little more research and that's what worked for me. So hopefully that fixes it for you guys. Again, um, I, I don't know how if, um, if being offline mode and you play made a difference because I can't even connect online. The servers are crashed, but, um, as you can see, I mean, my card's not even running that hot, so I know it could handle it. I personally, I mean, I could run the Ultra, and it wouldn't really affect it. I mean, I think High and Ultra look pretty much the same. I didn't notice a difference. It does look a tiny bit better, but this just till they release a fix, this is what I did. So if this video helped you out, remember to toss it a like or dislike it if you didn't like it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Sorry about that. That was my phone, guys. Um, and I'll try to help you out when anything else I could think of. If you have a unique case, I mean, I know a little bit about computers, so I'm more than happy to try to assist you guys. Um, and if you think of this would be useful to a friend, feel free to share it with them or add, or add it to your favorites because both of those things help. And if you aren't subscribed, then feel free to subscribe because um, I'll be bringing you guys more Watch Dogs content as well as other tips and tricks about how to optimize your games and things like that. I mean, if I think that's useful, then I'll give it to you guys. And if you are interested in getting a copy of Watch Dogs, the link will be down in the description. Hopefully this helped you. And again, if you have any further questions or it didn't help you, then let me know what your setup is and I'll try to look into finding a solution but that's what i did guys remember run as administrator after you have you play open at with that command on your shortcut and that's the major fix the, the other thing going in and modifying your x xml file that's not really necessary i just did that because maybe it improves like maybe one frame and definitely run in borderless i i was able to run it in full screen with with barely any um any effect on my frames or anything like that but borderless just lets you monitor things on your computer and it, it, it does increase the frames a little bit especially if you're not recording guys so again thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and i hope it helps you out till next time this has been icy peace